Update 46 added the biggest new feature that we've seen in quite a long time to Dynamic Ship Simulator 3. Using the new replenishment ships, you are now able to refuel and rearm ships while moving at sea. And in this video, I'll be giving a quick tutorial on how to actually do this. So without wasting much time, let's get right into it. Now before anything, you will need to own a replenishment ship. The ones currently available are the Berlin and Amsterdam class. If you would like to see an in-depth review on these ships, make sure to check out my last video. Both of these ships cost 5 million credits. Upon spawning them, you'll see at the bottom of your screen two new icons. The icon on your left represents how much fuel store you have, and the icon on the right represents how much ammunition store you have. The fuel store is entirely separate from your fuel tank, meaning it will not go down if you're piloting your ship, and you also cannot use it for yourself. To fill up these stores, head over to a shipyard. Upon pulling into one, a new button will come up saying to restock your fuel and ammunition stores for completely free. It does not cost anything. After doing this, your stores will be restocked to 100%, and now you're ready to start replenishing ships. To actually do this, you must first find another ship that needs it, or they could also find you. Something to keep in mind is that neither the replenishment ship or the receiver need to have PvP on. Now, from the perspective of the ship that needs to be replenished, a button at the top of your screen will pop up asking you if you would like to replenish your ship. Pressing this button will open up a menu asking you what you would actually like to replenish yourself of. The menu will only show the things that you need, so if you only need fuel and ammo for your gun, that's all that will show up. But if you need everything, then of course, everything will show up. You are then able to select exactly what you want to receive. You can select each option individually, and as you can see, the price will show up at the bottom and change based on what you select. You can also just press the all button and everything will be selected. Once you've selected everything that you would like to be replenished of, press the replenish button at the bottom. Going back to the perspective of the replenishment ship, at the top of your screen, a replenishment request will show up, showing who is requesting replenishment and what ship they are using. If you would like, you can press the view button to view what they are requesting. At the top of the menu, you can see how much of your fuel and ammunition store they are requesting to use. And below that, you can see how much of your fuel and ammunition stores will be left after the transfer is complete. And at the very bottom, you can see how much money you will make. You'll make however much money the fuel or ammunition costs, plus 30%. So for example, if you spent 100 credits replenishing your fuel, the person in the replenishment ship will receive those 100 credits, plus 30 more, because 30 is 30% 30 of 100. If you would like to approve the transfer, you can press the accept button at the bottom of the menu. Or of course, you could decline it by pressing the cancel button. Upon accepting it, the process will begin immediately. A big green circle will appear around the ship, and the ship being replenished must stay inside of it for the entire time the transfer is happening. At the top of your screen on both sides, a bar appears showing the the progress of the transfer. And if you are in the Type 23, Type 21, Niedersachsen, the Seven Provinzen, Iverhuetfeld, or Oliver Hazard Perry, then Hothis will appear during your replenishment, connecting both of your ships. Once the progress bar is full, the transfer has been complete, and the ship is now replenished. The replenishment feature is an awesome new feature that has the possibility to alter many PvP battles. But not even just PvP battles. If you are in need of fuel in the middle of a cargo run, these will surely be able to help out with that. If you found this tutorial helpful, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, I will see See you all later. Bye.